G'day, welcome to Mount Cranberry Apiculture. Just been going through my hives at Bucker. Just mowing around them, so moving them back, putting them on a new bottom board and um, mowing around them and just tidying them up in general. All goes going through the process of pulling honey supers off them as well while I can. Um, unfortunately, I've just come across one here that's got American fowl brood in it, so uh, AFB is a bacterial disease of bees. It will kill the bees. It's a, um, a disease of the uh, larval stage of the brood and they just shrivel up and die and, and it eventually kills the hive. Um, unfortunately, it's not curable because the, the bacteria form spores and even though you can treat the symptoms of American fowl brood if you uh, put oxytetracycline or some other antibiotic in there, it'll keep reinfecting from the, from the spores similar to um, anthrax or Clostridium botulinum, tetanus, those sort of things, they're all spore formers. So, unfortunately, this have to be euthanized. What, what we will do though is go through the process of taking the two honey supers off. They'll go home and get extracted. There's nothing wrong with the honey. I'll do it in my little free frame extractor, just so I don't get any cross contamination in my big one. Um, the um, bees will be euthanized. I'll go through that process um, as we get down through the hive and the whole hive will have to be irradiated so you've got the choice of either burning the hive material or, or irradiating it so I'll just wrap it up and put it in the shed and next time I take a load of um, boxes to Narang Bar up at Steritech near Brisbane I'll, I'll take it with it and get it irradiated so I'm not just going to throw the gear out or destroy it so we'll get down into this hive the first thing I'll do is just take these two supers off We'll get down the brood box and have a look at AFB and just show you what it looks like and how I sample for it and, and go from there. There's a bit of smoke into this hive. I've actually closed the entrance up right up too, so they're just sort of one bee width of a bee, just to minimise any chance of robbing. So that's absolutely full of honey. Get the second super off. There aren't to be many bees in it either. So we're down in the bottom of this hive, what was the brood box. There really aren't a lot of bees in this hive. Um, what gets your attention straight away is that is that, are those cell perforations. You see them, see them there, ragged perforations. When you get a match into the cell, there's black, uh, sort of caramelly gooey liquid in there and it ropes out. Sure, if you can see, see how it comes out in a big long string like that. That's classic American fowl brood. Let's go a bit further. Once again, um, perforated cells, sunken, um, real, real peppercorny shotgun pattern. And we'll see if we can get some to rope. See it coming out, roping right out and snapping off. That's classic American fowl brood. I don't have to do a, a test or anything to, to confirm it. It just, it is American fowl brood. There's no doubt about it. Um, has got that smell about it too. Um, so that's what it looks like. Yeah. Keep looking. Once again, they go down pretty quickly.
round gooey liquid and it ropes, ropes right out. So that's classic American foul brew, and I'm seen enough of it that I don't need to, to do a test, but I'll get I do a smear just to show you how it's done. So got these glass slides that we used to use in in high school. Just get some of the the muck out, smear it on the slide. Get nice and evenly across the slide, but a um, nice and thin and the people at the lab the DPI lab will put that on the microscope and confirm that it's American foul brood so that goes back in there and that goes away in the mail that takes about a week to confirm what I'll do is hop on hop on the biosecurity line and just report this case of American foul brood that's where I was digging around earlier you see that peppercorn pattern perforated cells it's really quite advanced unfortunately so i just hope that it hasn't spread around this apiary but i'll certainly be checking every hive here roping out so am i surprised is afb here not at all it's just everywhere there's been plenty of um plenty of identification of it recently around this area this hive's got a real pong about it too it just smells like hay and that hive's dead so what I'll do um, the way we euthanize them is tip a cup of unleaded petrol in the top um, do that tonight or tomorrow morning before they start flying again so I'll close this entrance up nice and small um, the other thing I'll just do quickly, because these have got ventilated bottom boards, I'll just put some polystyrene, a uh, sheet of plastic over the bottom here, so that when the fuel goes in, it just doesn't run straight through it. These poly hives as well don't, don't like petrol, it actually melts them, so I'll probably end up losing this bottom board and and the super but that's okay so that'll confine that fuel to inside the box put that back in get this lid back on Yep. So we'll get the lid on tightly. Don't leave any scraps lying around because if the bees and these other healthy hives get it and pick up a few spores, they can spread spread it around. the seal tightly it's better so that's what AFB looks like um, if you're in Australia and you've got bees you'll eventually see American foul brood in your hives it's just endemic it's just everywhere um, and yeah we're having some real dramas with it in the valley at the moment so make sure you get down under that queen excluder and look at your brood frequently um, I've had trouble this year because it's been raining since the start of February and it hasn't stopped. We've only just started had a fortnight of good weather now and that, but that's the reason I've started to get into these hives. So I'm kind of, I'm disappointed but not surprised that I've found American fowl brood. So it's really important to get this hive out, euthanized 
and irradiated so the frames the brood frames in here will be burnt and the bees that are attached to them will be burnt the hive will be wrapped up in plastic and put away in the shed until such time as i can get it irradiated the frames that have got honey in them, those two boxes of honey i took off will be extracted in my little three frame honey extractor and once again those frames will be burnt and the hive material will be um, the boxes will be just put up wrapped in that same box and, and put away in the shed until such time as i can get it irradiated so yeah that's disappointing but it's good to um <coughs> it's good to be able to show people what afb looks like i'll send my little sample away in the mail on monday today's saturday so that won't go away till monday and i'll also hop online when i get back this afternoon and just notify that i've found american fowl brood and it just helps the dpi track it and warn other people around the place that, that there is afb around uh, don't wait till you get a warning check your hives all the time because I can tell you now, American fowl brood is everywhere. Right, so that's what it looks like. Um, tonight I'll give my suit a put suits through the washing machine and I'll um, wash and clean all my hive tools, everything that's been in contact with this hive. Once I find American fowl brood in April, I just knock off for the day and go away and sanitise all my equipment before I come back and start looking through more hives. So there you go, American fowl brood.